Youth demanding for the body of a man they now see as a martyr, but a man who to the government was the face of terror. It's for that reason that Sheikh Abubakar Sharif, popularly known here as Makaburi, knew he was destined for the grave in a short while. He was speaking to Radio Rahma, and even though he claimed he was ready to die, Makaburi feared for his life and reportedly lived in hideouts for a large part of his life, especially after his confidant, Sheikh Abu Drogo, was assassinated in broad daylight two years ago. Mimi mke wangu imebidi nimwache. Hawezi kuishi na mimi. Watoto wangu imebidi waondoke nyumbani kwangu. Waogopa hata kuja kukaa kwangu. Kwa sababu safari moja nilipovamiwa, kitoto changu kidogo ndio kilikwenda fungua mlango. Kilipofungua mlango ni makelele la la chini na kuwekewa bunduki ya sura. The US government and the United Nations Security Council designated him as a terrorist. As such he was banned from using flights as a means of transport. Wewe ah, Muislamu, wewe ni kafiri kama wao. He was not allowed to leave his home area in Mombasa without notifying the police and was ordered to report to the Makupa police station every week since December 2010. He, however, had a following here at the Musa Mosque, or Masjid Musa as it's commonly known here. But security forces were suspicious of his teachings, believing he preached dangerous religious dogma. Most of these youth who are being radicalized or who are participating in some of these activities uh, begin um, this process at a very early age. Two months ago, police stormed the mosque following a tip-off that a recruitment and training session for youth in jihadist activities disguised as a religious seminar was going on. Makaburi denied the claims. It was not a jihad meeting. It was a convention. To, uh, to make it clear to some worshippers who did not know certain issues concerning jihad. Of what kind of preaching was going on? It was purely radicalization on, on, on jihadism and terrorism. We, I think that we can't allow here. Nevertheless, Makaburi believes it was in order for him to teach jihadism, but the Muslim leadership was uncomfortable with his ideologies. As Muslims, we have every right to preach jihad. The Muslim Ummah has every right to know about jihad. And no government in the world has ever prohibited jihad being, 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 uh, being taught in mosques. As Muslim leaders, we are in touch with the adherent of our religion. And anybody who digress from the principles and practice of Islam, of course, is not a strong believer. And in that regard, of course, we do have bad elements like any other person who don't adhere to any, pro, uh, any religion. And when another one of his confidants, Sheikh Ibrahim Omar Rogo, was killed five months ago, Makaburi differed openly with the Muslim leadership over who was responsible for his death. I deny categorically that uh, police in this case are involved. Itibati ziko wapi wa kusema ya kwamba ilifanyiwa na polisi. Uislamu inatuambia vizuri sana. Fata bayanu. Hakikisheni kwanza. Hakikisheni kwanza kabla ya kutoa matamshi. His own death yet again is an assassination the police say is being investigated. Sylvia Chabet for the Business Center.